Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog, man. It's K510 Automotive Group. And, um, yeah, we're picking up this video back where we left off. Um, so, what I was doing, I was um, replacing my valley pan on my um, engine. So, I ran into a few issues, which I'm going to refresh out right now. Um, this should be the same video. I'm just trying to pick it up where I left off because I had to wait for the parts to come in. And I don't want it to be too scattered around. Yeah, so um, this is what I, um, I'm going to give you an update on what's going on, man. So when I took out the um, intake manifold, I found this um, it's, uh, oil separator. This is the oil separator that goes on the back of the... Um, the um, they don't know why I'm having a brain for it. Um, the, the intake manifold. This goes on the back of the intake manifold. And this tube connects to here. So mine was broken here. So I just ordered a new one. But it was, I don't know if it was, probably somebody tried to repair it before. I put like, I don't know what they try to do. Set up this camera real quick. So we can check out these parts. And we got the new, the new oil separator right here. All right, guys, we gotta clean up this this surface, man. Like all the corrosion on these hoses and all these parts. This is where the hose clamps go for the um, heater core hose. So we gotta clean up all that corrosion. And then the gasket surface, we need to clean, it, clean up that too. So let's get started, man. All right, guys. So this is the gasket that we're gonna we're gonna replace the um replace for the uh, the housing. These gaskets go on top of here. Fits in those grooves like that. What I would do is I would put the bolts in to hold it in, hold it in place. So that's what I'm gonna do. Right, guys, so the next step we're gonna be replacing the um, oil separator housing. So this is what we're gonna be installing right here. Also, I'm gonna replace the gasket. This gasket right here. You can tell that this thing has been bad for a while. My um, kit came with a new gasket, so we better install the new one right here. It's just the right side. Of the gaskets for this thing, man. Looked like it was um inside the intake. So that's kind of surprising. So all right, I'm gonna line this up. I think these were uh, Torx bolts too. All right, guys, we got everything situated. Everything is plugged in, ready to go. Cooling is filled. Uh, actually, we do need to bleed it out, so I'm gonna crank it up now. So right now, we about to go check it out, man. Make sure all this work wasn't done in vain, you know what I mean? All right, guys, so we back, man. Um, the camera just died. But yeah, we just finished the 540. 
And right now, I got it out here bleeding out. It's idling. It's pretty much bled out. Let's go ahead and check it out. That cooling leak is gone now. No more dripping from the bottom. Got the valley pan in, got the new oil separator in. Right now it's idling. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, we got the temperatures good. Um, yeah, I need a brake sensor, so that's why the uh, brake light is on and this traction control light is on. Um, but yeah, man, we got good heat coming out. Temperature set. So yeah, man. Um, this concludes this video, man. Um, installing um the valley pan and oil separator. So everything is basically done. So. Yeah, man, this was kind of, um, kind of took me a little bit longer to finish this video because, um, I had to, um, order my oil separator tube. So, that was the last piece of the puzzle. Now we got it idling. No more check engine light is on. Because <laughs> that big vacuum leak from the oil separator was causing a big issue, man. Um, just glad that everything is, you know, working now probably gonna start driving this more often and up next we got e36 is going it's coming in next and then we have the 5 series here too man she's finally home we gonna start on this on in the winter time so I gotta um I gotta give me a transmission or uh, maybe just go do a manual swap cuz auto Oh yeah, this is my Beamer collection, E24, E36, E39. So if you're into Beamers, man, subscribe to the channel, man. Or if you're into these cars in general, subscribe to the channel. And check us out, man. We got a whole playlist of videos. Um, this is just one of my builds. Um, so yeah, these three are my, um, are my Beamer collection. And I also have two SUVs, so. If you like SUV content, stay tuned. I'm gonna be doing more videos on that. And I do have to give y'all an update on the, uh, on the MDX soon. But for now, man, I'm glad I got this one back on the road. The valley pan was leaking, that's why I couldn't drive it. And um, if you don't know, this is my, my first home, first house. Um, we're in my backyard right now, which is the driveway, so. Ain't nothing too big, just a little townhouse, man, but I'm glad I got enough room for me to store my toys and a lot of garage now that I can work in and get busy in, you know what I mean? So, um, definitely a big blessing, you know. Um, yeah, it took a minute to get here, but we're here now, so we're gonna go on up from here. Remember, it's K510. If you can make five, you can make 10. You know, keep going up. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't make it, man, or, or you're not good enough, man. Keep putting your best foot forward and you will make it to where you want to be, you know? I'm not where I want to be, but I'm still stepping. I'm still, you know what I mean, stepping in the right direction, man. So peace, and uh, stay tuned for the next video, man. It's gonna be a big update. E36 is next, all right?